I'm running into this problem where the more previews I see for Night Swim, the more skeptical I am. Like, I'm already eh about this because it's getting a January release, and January and February are pretty much dump months for horror. Um, anything they don't expect to do really well, they throw into January and February. Now, granted, you do have your breakouts. Like, I think Megan came out around Valentine's Day and did really well. But I saw the second trailer today, and now I can't help but think about something. What the hell is she haunting? I mean, they want you to focus on the aspect of the pool. That's like the big thing. But then you have shots of inside the house and the water's moving weird and the guy's taking a shower. So is she haunting the sewer or is it the main water line? Because if she's haunting the sewer, then we have an entire toilet ghost on our hands. Which like if she's a sewer ghost, why isn't she haunting other people's houses? Do they have a septic tank or do they have a uh, main sewage? And then you have the same problem running into your water line if it's the main aquifer. And can you solve the problem by replacing your pipes? But let's say she's just haunting the pool by itself. The little boy sees her in the little catcher thingy. The catcher is not that big. But she fits inside, which leads me to believe. This is a diagram of your standard in-ground pool. Which is again connected to your main lines, but it also has a return line that goes through the filter and the heater. So every few minutes, especially if she gets caught in the little traps, um, does she have to go through the heater and the filter line? Is her soul having to get graded through a sand filter the whole time? Do they have a salt water pool or can we take care of her adding chlorine? There's a whole clip in trailer number two talking about, well, maybe the last owners just weren't pool people, making it sound like it was weird they didn't fill up a pool for 15 years. Maybe they were elderly, or maybe they were on a fixed income. You know, filling pools is expensive. That's like hundreds of dollars. And especially if you're not healthy enough to use it. If I had to take a wild-ass guess, um, there's going to be a dead girl buried under the pool. Always swim with a buddy. Do not swim in water that you are uncomfortable with the depth. Always check your pool and cleaning traps for gators and snakes. Have proper safety equipment around your pool. Maybe put up a fence around it as well so people can't get in. Update your insurance. If you cannot swim but do want to enjoy the water, there is nothing wrong with floaties. Learn some CPR from your local Red Cross or American Heart Association. Thank you.